past couple of years have been especially hard for many people who've been struggling financially, emotionally, physically, and even spiritually. Finding help in difficult situations can come in many different forms, but it can be hard to spot. Joining us via Zoom to explain further is best-selling author of the book Tuesdays with Maury and his latest novel, The Stranger in the Lifeboat. He's also the host of the podcast Tuesday People, another production by our very own Stage 29. Welcome to the show, Mitch Album. Thank you. It's so great to see you again. Thanks for having me on. Good to see you. So, Mitch, you say your new book is about faith and accepting help. So important. We all need help. So please explain. So it's uh, the idea is that there's this really fancy yacht that's owned by one of the richest people in the world. He invites all his fancy friends on it, and it inexplicably explodes in the middle of the ocean. Everybody's killed except 10 people, half of whom are the rich guests, half of whom are the staff. They find their way to a lifeboat. They're out there for three days. Nobody's coming for them. There's no help. There's sharks in the water. They're running out of food and anything to drink. And suddenly they see this stranger floating in the water and they pull him into the boat. It's this young guy, nondescript, average looking guy. They pepper him with questions. He doesn't say anything. Finally, one of the passengers says, well, thank the Lord we found you. And he says, I am the Lord. And thus begins the adventure out at sea as to whether or not they're going to believe him or accept his help. They say, if you're the Lord, what are you doing here? He says, well, haven't you been calling me? And they go, oh, come on, you know, uh, what are you going to save us? He says, well, I'll save you if everyone in the boat believes I am who I say I am. And it becomes a parable about whether or not we accept help, even if it doesn't look like what we expect or act like what we expect when we get it. Mitch, I mean, I know you're a big thinker, uh, always, always come, coming up with ideas. How did you come up with this particular idea? Well, I went through a, a, a tragedy of my own, my wife and I. We, uh, you know, I run an orphanage in Haiti that I'm at every month for the last 12 years, and we adopted one of our little girls from there a few years back. She had a brain tumor. And for two years, we traveled around the world trying to find a cure. Um, ultimately, she passed away, and I was very angry at the world when that happened. And I said, you know, how can there be a God or a universe that, that, that's kind but isn't kind to a, a seven-year-old? And only after four years or so passed when I was writing this book did I start to look at it a little differently, that I kept asking the question, why did I lose, instead of looking at it as what did I get? And at one point in the book, not surprisingly, one of the characters asked this God character the question that we would probably all ask if we got a minute with God, why do you take people that we love? Why do they have to die? And he answers him and he says, well, you always ask, why did God take this person? Maybe a better question would be, why were you given this person? What did you do to deserve their love, their sweetness, all the memories you had? Didn't you have that with your wife? And he says, yes, every day. And the God character says, well, those memories, they're a gift, but not having them is not a punishment. And he concludes by saying, I know you cry when your loved ones leave this earth, but I can assure you they're not crying. And for me, I wrote that as much for the readers as for myself, because that's how I've sort of come to deal with our loss of our little girl, Chica. You know, I could look at it as what we lost, or I could look at it as what we had these two amazing years with her. What did we do to deserve that? We were in our 50s already. Or our, our family time was over, but we got that opportunity. And I think if you look at it that way, almost a little bit more from a gratitude point of view than a what did I lose point of view, right. healing is a lot easier. And this was a book about healing. 